Hello, my name is Muhammad Asha Amir Arif. Today, my, me and my friend will present about Chapter 8, Australia, Oceania and Antarctica. For my part, I will present about subtopic for introduction, climates and environmental problems. We move to the introduction. As you can see, for introduction, you can see both sides of the map, the left and the right. For the left side of the map is about Australia and Oceania. As you can see here, Australia located here near in, in near at the Indian Ocean and New Zealand located here near the Pacific Ocean and the last one the big one is is the is about the Oceania Oceania have many island as you can see Kiribati Tuvalu Palu Soma Tonga and so on so the right side of the map is about uh, is about Antarctica as you can see Antarctica located between in uh, Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean Okay, we move to the French. European colonial re effort reach Australia, New Zealand, and Pacific Island of Oceania. British established port and trade facility on the coast of Australia and try to reproduce Western culture. Wireless and missionary from USA and Britain infiltrated many islands in the region during the 18th. Contemporary Australia, Oceania, and Antarctica is a region containing extreme diversity in material world where countries like Australia are among the wealthiest and others are severely challenged by poverty. Most of the island countries in Oceania rely entirely on external aid. Although Antarctica has never had permanent settlements, many countries claim segments of it and fund scientific research on it. Their findings contribute to global research in such areas as ozone depletion and oceanic fishing resources. Most of the surface area of Antarctica is covered in snow and ice, which is ice covering Antarctica and its surrounding island and water comprises 90% of the world ice and snow. Transatlantic Mountain, which divide the continent into West Antarctica and East Antarctica, are one of the world's longest continuous mountains. Next, we move to the climate. There are four types of climate. First one is equatorial climate, second one is trop subtropical climate, third one is tropical ocean climate, and the last one, fourth, is Antarctica has polar climate. Equatorial climate, their temperature is between 50 Celsius to above 30 Celsius. It is distinguished for its wet season and dry season. Wet season occurs in December to April. Meanwhile, dry season occurs in May to, May to November. And their location located at northern of the northern territory, Western Australia, Cape York, Queensland, Australia. Second, we move the uh, second is about subtropical climate. Subtropical climate is New Zealand's mild and humid. Mean latitude climate is similar to British climate. For instance, their temperature for summer is 20 Celsius to 30 Celsius. Meanwhile, for winter, 10 Celsius to 15 Celsius. And their location located at north of New Zealand. Third is about tropical ocean climate. Okay. Temperature in Oceania are consi consistently warm throughout the year. Their temperature is between 35 Celsius to 35 Celsius and their location located in the island of Oceania. And the last one for is Antarctica has polar climate. Majority of continental landmass and surrounding island, island are covered by ice. Their temperature is Negative is between negative 57 Celsius to 10 Celsius. And their location is located at Antarctica. And last but not least, we move to the environmental problems. There are three types of environmental problems. First one is natural hazard. Second is pollution, erosion, and mining. And the last one, third, is climate change. As you can see, for natural hazard, there are five. First one is volcanic eruption which is occurred in 1995, eruption of Mount Ruha Pehu. Second is earthquake, also occurred in 6 miles from Christchurch, New Zealand. Third is drops, fourth is flood, and fifth is typhoon. Second is pollution, erosion, and mining. Fragile landscape, farmer in Western Australia fell trees that previously helped to balance the water table and to slow the force of the wind near the ground resulting increase of wind erosion and rise in the water table led to surface salinization and made large areas unusable for farming. 
the Australian government respond with a more environmentally sound application process for mining licenses. The government also declared land care in 1990s, planting of billions of new trees to mitigate losses in Australia's limited. New Zealand, which is known strong environmental awareness and activism among its citizenry, and its tough and its tough environmental environmental legislation still faces issue of soil erosion and air and water pollution. Third is about climate change, which is ice made from anthropogenic climate change on Antarctica called open the continent for settlement and resource exploration. The corresponding sea level rise may inundate low lying coastal areas around the world. Many low lying in Oceania could literally be submerged. 